Yo, Air Suji, what's going on here? We're going to make a video here on, on Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Rush Week, and I'm going to give you 10 reasons why this game mode is going to be a massive success for the game mode and the game itself. So, of course, this game mode is going to focus on the positives and the goodness of the games, and we're going to have an uh, optimistic view on it, but in a realistic way. So the first reason why this game mode is going to be really nice for the game is because there's going to be new cosmetics and new skins. We know the main version of the game can be really bland at times just because these guys are really grounded and everything is basically set uh, where they got, you know, stored in the basement on the regular version of the map. But because this game mode is different, you know, we know these are like sorority students, so there's going to be a lot of room for having different outfits and cosmetics for those characters. Or just characters we already know bringing in different skins with them. So it's very likely, because this is a different type of place on this campus or whatever, Leland can get his wrestling outfit or some other character that's new or even that football skin. This is the type of, this is the type of thing that can bring in a cheerleader outfit, for example. Maybe Anna can finally get that if she's going to be a playable character in this game mode. Yeah, so if you don't believe me with that, I mean, just look at Johnny. He gets like a rattlesnake on his like leather jacket, and that's already going to be probably his best skin as soon as this game mode releases. And we know those college students get a little crazy with the things they be wearing. But let's go on to our next point. All right, number two, and that is going to be the queue times and the lobbies will be faster in this game mode. One family member, six victims, I think it'd be fast and it'd be hot and it'd be fresh. A lot of people are going to be queuing and for many great reasons they'll be doing so. Yes, this one is short and sweet, but it's definitely very important, if not the most important. It just depends on you. But if this game mode means faster queue times and so on, then people are going to play this more and more and continue to play it and it's going to be, it's going to be cool. All right, number three, that's going to be the new map. So, of course, we're getting a new map. That's clear. And the size of the map, we're not completely sure, but there's going to be, what, seven characters running around on it, which is technically the normal amount of characters running around. So maybe it'd be similar to the other maps. But because it's going to be a new map, it's going to be a new environment, it's going to be a new theme, and it's going to be fresh. The theme and environment is, are completely different. Of course, they're still in Texas, I'm sure, but the environment is going to be different because the family member is actually, he's he's playing a away game. Like, Johnny's going out, outside of the fam family's infrastructure and all that stuff. So with that being said, when the victims are playing, there's not going to be like, I doubt there's... There's not going to be like random blood buckets on the floor. Like, where's grandpa going to be? Grandpa probably won't even be there. It's going to be completely different. And because it's going to be different, it's going to make everything new. It's going to make everything fresh. And the game is going to feel different and fun in a different way. Okay, so for our fourth topic as to why Rush Week will be a massive hit for this game. And it's going to be the fact that it's a 1v6. And that can't be slept on. Nobody should be underestimating it. And when I say 1v6, I mean the viewpoint of playing it on your team and what you can do and what that really means because the numbers the, the numbers on each side is a little different. Let me explain. So because there's one killer, that killer gets to decide how the game can go based on um, his point of view and what he can control. So if he loses the game, it's on him. He doesn't need to blame anyone. You know, that killer, you know, that Johnny doesn't have to worry about the hitchhiker not setting up the traps or the or the cook not not cooking not putting padlocks down it's going to be completely on him and honestly that's kind of good for this game on family again because it's different but also for those family members who just wants to control the whole pace and in, in their realm that's really good for them and they can thrive and have a good time however when we talk about the victims six victims five teammates there's gonna be a lot more craziness going around probably but it's not gonna be all bad because there are also six victims in ways they're gonna be nerfed i don't imagine them being as strong as they are when there's just four of them in the ma main game mode so i don't know how bone scraps are gonna work or door slams but it's clearly got to be a little different if johnny's by himself but i think the most important thing here or one of the most important things here with six victims is that when an ally dies, one of your victim teammates, 
under normal circumstances where there's only four of you guys and now there's only three, it significantly changes the game a lot in a lot of ways. But because there are six victims in the game, if one victim dies, it's not the end of the world and it's further from it versus like in the main game mode where now you only have three teammates. And we know that can really suck in the main game mode sometimes. Like how many times are we playing victim and we lose a teammate in the first 60 seconds of a round or even the first 30 seconds sometime or like seriously oh man unlucky to say the least but in this game mode there's going to be six people if one dude does happen to die which i doubt will happen i doubt johnny's going to be killing victims in the first 60 seconds of a match it's not going to be the end of the world because you'll still have four other teammates okay so for the fifth reason why this game mode is going to be massive is it's going to bring in new players it's going to bring in old players or the old players are going to return rather and everybody will be talking about it a lot of people will be streaming it i'm sure and it's going to be good for the player base and it's going to propel a lot of that and i think it'll stick and it'll continue to grow perhaps a lot of the new players will be dbd killer mains for example they can come in by themselves solely and then focus on those six victims with that being said let's move on to number seven so Rush Reek has a real chance to capture the main focus that Gun was going for when it comes to focusing on stealth gameplay and immersion and also having fun whilst not being too competitive where the main game mode doesn't really benefit from stealth as much and it's far more competitive than they anticipated. So I basically think this is like, for lack of a better word, some kind of a do-over where they can focus on this more, especially with the data and information they got with the main game mode to make Rush Week more more in line with, way, with, with what they originally planned. Okay, so for our eighth reason why this game mode will be prosperous is because it is a good idea because different things will happen in this game mode that can translate to the 3v4 game mode while they both remain different in their own game. So in other words, when this game is a, is a success, it can translate through other parts of the game. So the same way they can learn from the 3v4 game mode, they can implement that into Rush Week and vice versa. When Rush Week is released and they learn things about Rush Week, they can apply the benefits to that game to the main game mode, of course. And for number nine, the timing of this game mode's release date is perfect because it needs something strong for fall and Halloween. And the game comes out September 24th, by the way. And also because the one year anniversary was pretty lackluster, I'm sure the developers are aware and it's going to enable them to double down on this game mode. I'm sure they probably feel like they missed a mark on the anniversary, so they're going to double down on this most likely. And this could very well be our late treat to the anniversary situation. Okay, and so for our 10th reason why Rush Week will be a massive success, and that being is Rush Week will feel different. It's a 1v6 game mode with mostly TCM mechanics, but the game will feel vastly different from the main version of the game, the 3v4 based version of the game. And it's different from DVD's 1v4, Killer Clowns, 3v7, Despite giving the game the rush and the name of the game, I don't know if it's going to be based on rush escaping. In other words, Rush Week is like a pseudo new asymmetrical horror game with mostly familiar play styles, but different in its own way. Thanks for checking out my video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like this video, check out this video where we focus on some of the negatives of the game.